Hey YouTube, let's talk about freshwater aquarium snails in this video. Now, freshwater aquarium snails can sometimes get a pretty bad rap in our hobby since most people think they're pests, but there's also pros and cons of keeping these inverts. Usually there's many more benefits than there are drawbacks. Now me personally, I love adding snails to planet tanks and I've been doing them for years and in my opinion, they're one of the most underrated creatures in the aquarium hobby. And with so many freshwater aquarium snails, it's really difficult to pick out what are the good ones and what are the bad ones. But I got your back on this one and I'm here to help you. So in this video, I'll help you choose which types of aquarium snails are right for you and for your tank and I'll teach you how to keep them healthy. So if you're dealing with unwanted snails, you'll also find some tips here to help control them. And apart from these different types, I'll also let you know which snails are categorized in good or bad. What makes a good and a lousy aquarium snail? This is also one of the most searched queries in the search engines. Well, most of the snails in the aquarium hobby have good and bad sides. Many aquarists think of snails as fascinating pets that can be beautiful and useful in the aquarium. Others just don't like them, especially when they find their way into the tank by accident and seem to take over. So to clarify this, Let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of keeping these cleaners in your aquarium. Advantages of keeping snails in your aquariums. Snails do an excellent job cleaning up leftover fish, food, and waste in the tank. They are the captains of the cleanup crew. Snails eat algae, and freshwater snails can help to keep your tanks glass, plants, ornaments, and substrate looking clean and beautiful. Some snails burrow into the substrate. Digging the substrate can release trap gas and allow for plant nutrient uptake. So snails can also clean the surface layer of the substrate to keep your tank looking great. Now let's know about some disadvantages of snails if you keep them in your tank. When snails breed out of control, they can add to the bio load of your aquarium, causing your tank to become overstocked and go out of balance. It's rare, but some freshwater snails feed on living plants. A massive overpopulation of snails can look bad, stick to the glass, and leave snail eggs all over the tank. As long as you manage the cons, just about any aquarium snail can be a good snail. That being said, certain snails make much better choices than others. Now that you have some decent knowledge about snails, we can go forward to our list of best freshwater snails. And if you like our content, please subscribe to Aquarium Store Depot for more amazing videos. With that said, let's dive into the list of best aquarium snails in the hobby. Although several species of snails are available in the aquarium trade, these are the best species for planted tanks. I consider these seven types of snails the best options for most aquariums. They are a great species for community tanks. First up, let's talk about the horned nerite, one of the most famous and attractive snails in the hobby. Horned nerite snails are fascinating aquarium snails that come in various colors and patterns. They are easily identified by the horns on the shell. The color of their shells is pretty variable, but often they have a cool black and yellow striped look. These snails eat algae, and are excellent scavengers for freshwater aquariums. Like other popular aquarium snails from the Neritidae family, these animals live in freshwater but need brackish water to breed. These peaceful snails are perfect for aquascapes because they do not eat live plants. Now, let's move on to our next snail type on this lich, which is Zebra Nerite, known for the zebra-like stripes on its shell. Zebra nerite snails are one of the best for your planted aquarium. These animals look amazing and get their name from their beautiful striped shells. It's not only their looks that make them so great, they are also excellent algae eaters. Nerite snails cannot breed fresh water and rely on brackish water to reproduce. For this reason, you'll never have to worry about this species overpopulating your freshwater aquarium. After zebra nerite, now let's learn about Tiger Nerite, 
one of the most popular snails for community tanks. Like the zebra nerite, tiger nerites won't bother live plants or breed in your tank. These snails have a cool golden orange shell with rows of interesting black markings. They're very hardy. They can survive in a wide range of tank and water conditions. They occasionally lay eggs, but these aren't going to hatch in a freshwater tank. Nerite snails are excellent algae eaters and do a fantastic job of keeping the tank clean. After tiger nerites, now let's talk about the Malaysian trumpet snail. Malaysian trumpet snails are a species many fish keepers consider pests or snails. However, if you look at some of their benefits, there's more to these crawling creatures. They are burrowing snails that are great for managing the substrate at the bottom of your tank. All that burrowing prevents the buildup of toxic gases and helps to work nutrients into the soil, which benefits the plants. These animals aren't for everyone though. Malaysian trumpet snails breed fast, are ultra tough, and can be very difficult to remove. So think carefully before introducing them to your tank. After Malaysian trumpet snail, let's talk about the next snail in our list, which is the mystery snail. Mystery snails are extremely popular for their stunning colors and practical benefits. They work hard to clean algae from glass, plants, and decorations, eat hair algae, and keep your substrate clean. Mystery snails are excellent cleaners that will eat any leftover food in the aquarium. They are giant snails, but are peaceful and work great in shrimp tanks. Mystery snails are also known as gold Inca snails. Mystery snails can be bred in the aquarium, but unlike other snails, their eggs must be laid outside the water. This requirement and the fact that you need a male and a female to breed means they are easy to control and won't multiply unless you make it possible. Now, let's learn about the rabbit snail, one of the unique snails in the hobby. Rabbit snails look kind of like jumbo Malaysian trumpet snails. The head of the species resembles a rabbit's head, and that's where they get their name. There are several species of rabbit snails available. These giant snails come in a few color morphs and won't multiply like trumpet snails. Although it isn't usually a problem, rabbit snails have been reported to feed on some aquarium plants like java ferns. These snails are great for cleaning up the tank and keeping the substrate healthy by burrowing. Because they grow pretty big, these snails are best for larger fish tanks of 30 gallons or more. After rabbit snail, let's talk about the last snail you can safely keep in a freshwater tank, which is ivory snail. The ivory snail might be the perfect option if you like mystery snails but want something a little more exotic for your planted tank. These awesome looking snails are the same species as the regular mystery snail but have been bred to have pure cream white shells and pale white bodies with pink and orange markings. Ivory snails also have significant benefits for your tank as the regular mystery snail. These active snails will search your tank for algae and uneaten fish food and are peaceful with their tank mates. So these are some snails that you can easily put in your aquarium tank with other fish. Now that you know all the best types of aquarium snails, it's time to decide which ones you like the most. We're huge fans of snails at Aquarium Store Depot, and we're constantly singing their praises to our fellow aquarists. Snails are adorable, attractive, and a lot of fun to watch. You can love or hate them, but aquarium snails are something that most aquarists and fish keepers will come across sooner or later. Some might be pests, but many are very excellent additions to community tanks and planted aquariums. Whether you're looking to add new snails to your tank or eliminate them, I hope this detailed video helps you. Please comment below if you have any questions. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you thrive in the aquarium hobby.
And if you want to know about snails that you should avoid keeping in the aquarium, please let me know. We will create a separate video on snails to avoid. So make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any updates from Aquarium Store Depot. Join our Facebook page and Discord groups where beginner to advanced fish keepers share their personal experiences. And I'm sure you will also find your solution if you are facing any issues in fish keeping.